Hello, I'm Pat Matthews, and you're watching Business World News, focusing on global trends and emerging technologies. In the news and under discussion on this installment of Business World News is Chinese-based Sinobiomed, a company that is exciting the world health community with the promise of an effective vaccine against one of the oldest and deadliest diseases known to man, malaria. Malaria has been with us for a very long time. In fact, going back to 2700 BC, malaria symptoms were first described in ancient Chinese medical writings. Dr. Tom Chen is Vice President of Process Development at Prometic Biotherapeutics and serves as Sinobiomed's Chief Technical Consultant. He's the former Director of Process Development for the American Red Cross. Malaria is a virulent disease that has devastated civilization throughout the time and throughout the world. We find it described in ancient Chinese writings, in Sanskrit texts from India, in hieroglyphics of Egypt, and in ancient Greeks and Roman writings. And malaria has persisted down through ages and throughout the old and new wars. We asked Dr. Chen what treatment options exist for malaria in lieu of a vaccine. In China, dating back 340 AD, the anti-fever property of a plant called Qinghua were described. The active ingredient of this plant was isolated by Chinese scientists in 1971. And today, it is used as a potent and effective anti-malaria drugs, especially in combination with other medicines. In the early 17th century, Joshua Priest learned of a bark used by indigenous Indian tribe of the New World. The bark yield what we know as quinine, the most widely used anti-malaria treatment available today. Effective as quinine and other drugs can be in treating malaria, the ideal solution would be a vaccine that would prevent it. An effective malaria vaccine has been very difficult to find but with the advance of medical science and technologies, the potential breakthrough could be right around the corner. Sinobiomed, one of the new breed of Chinese biopharmaceuticals, has a patented vaccine candidate named PFCP 2.9. Results from phase one clinical trials conducted in China were promising, showing well tolerated among the test subjects with minimal side effects and ability to elicit an immune response, what scientists call immunogenicity. If this result could be confirmed in the subsequent trial, this could pass a way to develop an effective vaccine to end this lingering, pernicious disease. Malaria was wiped out in the United States in the early 1950s, thanks to the combined eradication efforts of the CDC and local health agencies. While there have been cases of malaria in this country, resulting in a handful of deaths, these cases are isolated and don't begin to approach epidemic proportions. Globally, however, it's a far different, far grimmer story. According to the World Health Organization, approximately 40% of the planet's population, mostly people living in the very poorest countries, are at risk of contracting malaria. Annually, more than 500 million people become severely ill with malaria. And malaria takes over a million lives each year mostly the lives of young children in sub-Saharan Africa. With two deaths occurring every minute of every day, the race for an effective, life-saving vaccine is on. Sinobiomed's patented vaccine targets the most deadly of the malarial parasites at its most destructive stage, its rapid replication in human red blood cells. The phase one clinical trials yielded positive results and phase two testing will commence in the latter part of 2007. The development and testing of this promising vaccine has enjoyed the support of the World Health Organization and the PATH Malaria Vaccine Initiative. This is a serious humanitarian commitment, and Sinobiomed is striving to deliver the knockout blow to this deadly disease. If our vaccine can be successfully tested in the human body, it can be used to greatly reduce the death and occurrence of malaria in third world countries. Also, it will generate great revenue for our product investors. Ban Jun Yang is president and CEO of Sinobiomed. His sense of vision and commitment to the success of his company are immediately evident. Our core competitive strength lies in innovation and market-oriented research and development. 
We developed a series of domestic and international patented recombinant protein drugs. We are taking the leading role in the research and development of recombinant protein drugs in the Chinese market. Some of our R&D projects are even ahead of the technologies in the international market. Our goal is to research and develop effective drugs for related diseases. And that isn't all. Several more products are in the Sinobiomed pipeline. In addition to the products which have already been launched into the marketplace, we have at least 10 products that are in clinical testing or in different R&D phases. These products will be launched to both domestic and international markets in the next few years. As a biopharmaceutical research and manufacturing company, we will continue to expand our business through reorganization and business acquisitions to ensure our growth and profitability into the future. Let's take a minute to talk about the investment potential of Sinobiomed, which is publicly traded as SOBM. When the savvy investor hears biotech, the reaction is generally twofold, high risk, high reward. It's fair to say that investing in new technologies is generally more speculative and therefore carries a certain amount of risk. Prudent investors considering the biotech sector or any other investment should always exercise due diligence, meaning they should understand the company's profile, its makeup, and its mission. Sinobiomed scientists and advisors are globally recognized for their work. They include Dr. Chen, who we've heard from, and Dr. Weinig Pan, inventor of the PFCP 2.9 malaria vaccine. As far as the high reward side of the equation, we're all familiar with the outstanding stock performances and tremendous profits enjoyed by numerous pharmaceutical manufacturers over the past several years. Those who got in on the ground floor with these companies reaped outstanding rewards for the risk they took. China is projected to become one of the world's major biotech players in the next 15 years. The country's biopharmaceutical industry has witnessed rapid growth since the 1980s and is continuing to expand with more than 30% annual growth. There's no question that these are exciting times for medical advancement. With new breakthroughs and discoveries of every kind being reported in the press, or on the news almost daily. And Sinobiomed, with its robust product pipeline, is strategically poised as a breakout performer in this potentially profitable investment arena. Sinobiomed's patented malaria candidate vaccine, about to enter phase two clinical trials, could save millions from this dreaded third world scourge. But that's not all. Add to that a full range of products either already on the market in clinical trials or in R&D that respond to a wide range of diseases and conditions. These include hepatitis, surgical bleeding, cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetic ulcers and burns, and blood cell regeneration, 10 distinctly unique products in all, each with a great profit potential. Surely, with its varied array of products, including the potential of a life-saving malaria vaccine that could offer new hope to millions, this is a company worth considering for any sophisticated investment portfolio. You can learn more at Sinobiomed.com or ask your broker for more information. For Business World News, I'm Pat Matthews. Thanks for watching.